I think it was a long season so far, and also to think about the, like the mental part about being uh, in the focus of winning races for so long. Uh, I think it was really good, especially mentally, to to spend some time uh, with my family and 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 just staying together and not thinking about training or food or anything else than just relaxing and enjoying time. Yeah, I'm, I'm really close to my family. Uh, they're, they're everything for me. Like, we always lived close together, like when we were kids, you know, in a small house. Like, it's a really, really close family I have, and it's a close bond we also have, all of us. And I think, no, I don't think it's, it, it is really important for me to, to have it like that. Uh, my dad, he was a truck driver for 35 ish years. I told him one day on the way home from a race that if I one day made money enough to so he could quit being a truck driver and doing something else, I would do it. I would give him the money and, and we could do whatever whatever would be the best. And uh, I signed with Trick and then uh, I decided there was money enough to uh, open a bike shop with my dad and uh, make sure that uh, he had an easier life and uh, didn't have to push himself that much. Family is really important. And that's all from what you're born into, to your wife or your own family, it's, it's just important. Yeah, like with the tour stage and the couples, it's, of course, it's, it's not the same as Robert, but uh, we're getting really close. So uh, that's really something I'm, I'm looking forward to and I can hopefully get a small uh, revenge there. Of course it's gonna be different. It's gonna be more like trains from full teams going into into the, the sectors and so on for, because they have yeah, the GC riders so they have to take care of them. Um, so that's gonna be a different race than it is in Roubaix. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to, to try it and then we will see how it goes. Uh, and the time trial is it's definitely a, let's say a technical course. It's a lot of corners, so it fits me quite well with like one minute all out and a little rest in the corner and then again. Um, yeah, a lot of small corners, tricky, tricky corners. It's going to be different with the barriers because for sure some of the places will be more narrow than we than, than we think when we see the course like today. And then, of course, we, we are passing some, let's say, highlights of Denmark, of Copenhagen with the, the Little Mermaid, uh, Amalian Ball, where the Queen is living, all this kind of stuff. Uh, it's going to be special to, to ride the bike full gas there as well. Um, it would definitely be my uh, next big goal, yes, to, to get that yellow jersey. I'm working full on for that. I know I can do a good short time trial, so 13 Ks. Uh, we're working a lot on the bike and the equipment and so on, and aerodynamics. So uh, the whole team is really supporting to to try to reach this goal. So and then it's uh, it's up to me to to train a lot on the bike and do my best to to get a yellow jersey on, on day one. one size fits all. <laughs> I have a strong mentality. I, something really have to go, <clears throat> in general, go wrong before I'm, I'm start to go. I'm starting to go in a, in a what can I say, black hole or something like this. Um, I try always to look forward and, and not think about what happened in the past. If I think about what happened, let's say at Rupé, I would think about what went wrong and what can I change so it won't happen again. Instead of keep thinking about what went wrong. Um, and I think that's, in general, I'm always trying to look, in, to look forward and get, get the mentality of, I decide what's going to happen. The last couple of days, it was all about finding out what's wrong with the body and trying to get it slowly back into, not shape, but uh, straight again, and then uh, we can start building up from, from there. Like today, we went to the chiropractor to getting kind of looked at with the, with the hand if it's broken or, or what it is and also with with the chest and my ribs and back and so on um, and then during the week I will also see osteos and and getting massages and all that kind of stuff to get kind of back into the let's say race rhythm with all that 
rebuilding of the body, uh, then it's it's faster to come back on, on high and hard training. Um, so definitely, it's the next week's gonna be some time uh, with the with these guys. For me, it's important to have a good relationship with the people you're working with. If it's the, the riders or the staff, it doesn't matter. Um, of course, the riders is making, let's say, the biggest difference in the race. But there we also, we know what we have to do. We all have a job. We all, all of us is getting paid to do something. And um, it's just, I think it's important to have a friendship uh, within the team. Like, so the riders are friends and not only colleagues. Uh, I think that's make the whole team grow uh, even more. And for staff, it's just important for me to treat people well. And, and the staff is working really a lot for us. And it's super important to also to let people know that I'm happy with the work. I'm, I appreciate all the work they're doing. Um, so, so it's important for me to have fun with, with you. You know, you spend a full day in, in Copenhagen here and it's important that we have fun. Uh, it also makes it easier next time we have to work together. And I have the same feeling with, you know, Kenneth, my Swanja, or Jeroen, my mechanic, or, you know, even if, if they're not 100% with me, it's still important for me to treat them well and have a laugh and, you know, have a good, good smile, good laugh going on. That's, I think that's important when also when we have so many travel days as we have. I know for myself, I expect, let's say, I expect to win a race. I don't know which one. And I put a lot of pressure on the people around me. And, and yeah, you can, you can see that also, uh, that with Jeroen and Kenneth and all the people, I wanted to be perfect. And I also put pressure on them to make it perfect. And if they work super hard and extra, let's say 10% to make it exactly as I want, and if I fuck up, I think the smallest thing you can do is to say sorry. And then say, I will, I will do everything I can to make it better next time. For me, we're all working super hard for this, and, and I'm doing everything I can, and sometimes it's not good enough. So, just admit it, live up to it, and say, okay, guys, I fucked up, sorry. I, I don't have to, you know, it's not hard for me to do, because I'm also only a human. I also fuck up sometimes, and sometimes I just, I'm just not good enough. But if you treat everyone well, and always have a good, good connection with people, everyone will also say, hey, it's no problem, you're also human. Sometimes it goes as you want and sometimes it doesn't. That's what I'm fighting for, I'm fighting to win. I'm doing all these hours on the bike to win. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not training 1,000 hours a year or 30,000 kilometers a year just to finish second. That's not what I'm racing for. I'm racing to win, so that's everything.